morning guys um it is super early now i'm literally just about to go and get my eyebrows did i am i am traveling from south london all the way to north london right now and um yeah i'm super excited because it's my first time getting eyebrow extensions so i'm gonna take you guys with me so that you can see um you know the result how it looks etc etc and yeah this is my first vlog as well so yeah it's gonna be litty and um yeah excuse this thing on my ceiling life of a makeup artist but have a lovely day guys okay guys so i am here and um this is the state of my current brows ignore my hair guys but yeah um i'm super excited i've always wanted like really thick full brows so what's the first um um, so it's putting a bit of oil around your brows mm -hmm. to protect your skin or the waxing. Okay. So um, you wax them first. Yeah, wax first. Okay. that was not that was a less pain i've ever felt in my life <laughs> i thought you were plucking i didn't no. know you. that was not painful guys i do all. i do pluck during the process yeah i think it might be the type of wax that you're using as well yeah it's a hot wax oh, what the hell that didn't feel like anything <laughs> Because I get my eyebrows waxed all the time. Really? Yeah. What wax do you use? Um, I don't know what wax they use actually on me. Sometimes it's um, the honey looking one. Oh, okay. Yeah. They use the paper strips. I think she does, yeah. I'm thinking of doing microblading mm. at some point just because eyebrows consume so much time mm -hmm. when doing makeup I would just want them to be partially done already I do um, ombre brows. yeah that's what you do yeah 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 mm -hmm. ombre brows I love you how the, but you want the microblading for... I don't know what I want now that you said ombre brows what is the difference? So ombre is like a shading technique. So microblading, what they'll do is like they'll create those fake looking. Yeah, hair. so they'll do like hair strokes and put it in like that. Yeah. Um, ombre shading. Mm -hmm. So it will look like you've like you filled in your brows. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So like what people normally do, like ombre is something you can wake up with and you know go like, go about your day. Oh yeah, but so microblading is like, tattooing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, okay. So, ombre is like as if you've woken up, like you're filling your brows, like you do anything. If you go for like a night out, for instance, yeah. you can just like fill them in a bit darker yeah. if you like to, but you don't really have to do anything. To and how long does that last? Well, it lasts over the period of one to three years, but it's recommended okay. that every year you just get like a colour boost sort of top up. Yeah, just and then. Sort of fresh colour, go with the shade, mm -hmm. and because it fades, you might have some areas that have faded a bit. Yeah. And what yeah. about microblading? How long does that last? Uh, same. Yeah. But it depends on how your skin takes the hair strength. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Touch that. Oh, so next we're going to go onto the tinting. Yeah, yeah. Super excited. Oh, 
I'll just leave it on the front for a minute or so and take it off so it looks faded. Yeah, no, I love that. Right, um, I'm ready to go. <laughs> this is it, really. Just some foundation so it doesn't look too dark. And I'm good. <laughs> Is it okay if I trim just this bit? Yeah, trim yeah. whatever you need to. So when I wash my face and stuff like that, would it come off? You I have to be careful when you're washing your face. Um, okay, because I give my face the scrub. Like I'm uh, like, no. so I've got to be really careful. You do. Okay. Because um, the glue's not super strong because it's going directly into your skin. Okay, and um, also any tips on um, when applying makeup, how to remove brow makeup, etc. Brow makeup, you shouldn't really apply. Okay. Because if you wipe, because the hair is set in one direction. Yeah. So my tip is just leave them alone. Once leave them done. alone. Okay. Because you don't have to do anything to, to them. You don't have to brush them. Nothing. Um, yeah, so brow makeup, I mean, you could put a bit of brow powder on, but you can't exactly look like Gel on. and all of that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw like the areas that you wanted you know, to touch. And could up. you do exactly this for me, but with the ombre? Because, um, as in, I would want my eyebrows to look exactly like this, oh, but yeah, with the ombre. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I think I'm gonna get that so that way I can know that I can wash, I can apply stuff. And that is really good. I mean, I need someone to do that for me. I am finished with my eyebrows, and this is the end result. Um, all I did was get them waxed, tinted, and uh, individual eyebrow extensions. So natural it looks like my actual eyebrow hairs and that's what i really really appreciate guys whoa shooketh <laughs> oh how long long i've been wanting brows like this for jesus i am so happy best 45 pounds i've ever spent in my life yeah i'm so gonna leave her details down there for you guys because like why would i not want to help you guys why um these last for two weeks but obviously if you really look after them it can last for a very long time but guess what i'm gonna get like semi-permanent ones of these that last between one to three years because this is friggin life okay